So here is our yet another use case. A question from year 2022 patent agent examination. We are provided with an information disclosure statement for an invention related to a face mask. How relevant to the times that we have lived, the recent times, any which way. So we are required to draft a patent application for this invention based on the information provided in this disclosure. You know the drill. So why don't you pause the video, go over the details provided in the question, underline it, identify the relevant information that would go into the sections of our interest. Welcome back. I hope you have gone through and identified the relevant information. So if you compare this disclosure with our other two videos, you would have realized that it is not as nicely structured as the last two examples. Here the information is actually sprinkled over the entire uh, question. But because we know what we are looking for and for what section we are looking for, we should be able to identify and pick the information and put it at the relevant place. So let's start with our first section, which is title. Title could be as simple as a face mask. Moving to our next section, which is the field of the invention. So we are required to look for some statement here in this disclosure, which talks about the invention generally relates to and the invention particularly or specifically relates to. Now this actually doesn't provide us with that help. So we go down and we see the mention of the present invention. The present invention is directed to a face mask that covers the nose and mouth of the wearer and that has an ear loop and a drop down band. So this is actually our invention where we have the loop support as well as the drop down band, the hybrid uh, feature basically. So what do we do? We say the invention generally relates to a face mask and we say more specifically or particularly is directed to a face mask that covers the nose and mouth of the wearer and that has an ear loop support and drop down band. So this becomes our field of invention. Moving on, let's establish the pain points, the background section. So we start from here where they talk about the face mask. Then they talk about the face mask with uh, an attachment that goes around the back of the head to retain the mask. And then here they talk about another type of mask with, which have ear loop attachments. And then here they talk about the advantages associated with providing the attaches over the wearer's ear. And they continue like this. Then they talk more about uh, the ear loop and the drop down bands on it. Mask is retained. This provides for quickly access. They keep going about it. How both the features are interesting features and required features. So our invention provides both the features together, right? So we write all of this as the background section and end the background section by saying that there is therefore a need for a face mask, which can have the convenience of uh, the ear loops as well as uh, the feature of drop down. So that's how we end our background section. Moving on to the next section, which is the summary of it. So here, uh, if you see this entire portion is talking about various features of our invention, right? So this you can use as the summary of our invention. Couple of uh, sentences from here can be removed because they seem to be talking about the uh, background. But it's fine. You can use this section as the summary of our invention. Moving on to providing the detailed information about our face mask, the invention. How do we start? We provide the brief description of diagrams. How do we do? We identify the introductions for figures which are there. You go down. You see here it says figure 1 shows a perspective view. You copy paste. Copy paste this, this, this and this. These are your description of, uh, brief description of diagrams. What do we do next? Use these diagrams to describe our invention in detail. How do we start? We start with the present invention will now be described in detail with reference to accompanying drawings and claims. We pick 
the information from here as shown in figure one a mask so if you see every detail is being opened up step by step to describe how our mask look then they talk about the bend which will help us to place the mask on our face as well as to take it around the neck for the benefits that it offers in other figures they talk about other embodiments of connections or other embodiments of the way it is placed you can copy paste the entire information till here this will make part of your detailed description of the invention these are the drawings that are there see ear loop around drop down position and then going from the uh, the bottom part going from the top part this is 24 is your this portion here so uh, the next support okay we move to our next section which is the claims now what do we do earlier we had gone to our summary section and identified the features but if you have read the summary section here it doesn't actually provides us with the elements of our uh, face mask we, we can't see the elements which are there here, right? So, I'm sorry, a bit of distraction from what we have been doing, but then we have to do what we have to do. So, we come to figure one, where the mask is described like this. A mask includes a cup-like mask body, first feature. Then the mask body has upper portion, lower portion as well as this. They also talk about a nose clip and then they talk about the band 24 which is the most important part of the invention. With this the claim 1 can be finished. So how do we write? We start with I V claim a mask wherein the mask comprising your preamble and your transitional face. Then you write a mask includes provide all this information you can use this information as wherein wherein the mask body includes an upper portion then you can talk about a band 24 attaches an upper point by means of a stepple so till this point it becomes your it becomes your second element so this should make your claim novel we also need to build couple of dependent claims so we see if our elements have been described further by any more information so we look for more information and we see that this fabric type fibrous filtering material of the mask body removes so this is the type of material that are used for mask body so what we can write uh, a mask as claimed in claim one wherein the mask body is made of fabric type fibrous material this one right now let's see if uh, band 24 is defined any further so uh, here you can see the band 24 may be a continuous element so here they are saying what kind of configurations can we have for the band so how do we write the face mask as claimed in claim 1 wherein the band 24 is a continuous element or have two sections right uh, in fact interestingly this also can become your another uh, dependent claim wherein the band 24 is configured with a feature of slidable length adjustment i'll provide you the format on your right hand side so with this we are done with our claim section what are we left with? The abstract. Now where do we go for the abstract? We go to the summary section where we pick from the summary. So here again we will uh, pick till this point or any further depending on how many words we are left with. Remember 150 words. We can use this information as our abstract. So with this we are done with drafting the patent application for the face mask. I hope this was helpful. I'll see you in uh, another video.
probably if I get uh, another use case to discuss with you. Please feel free to comment if you have any queries and I'll be happy to resolve those. Take care. Bye.